Alright, come here. Sit down. We gotta talk about this weekly. Now, I've previously stated that I don't think the weekly is that good. I think I agree with that preliminary assessment, but we have an interesting combo here today. Not even a combo, it's more of a lifestyle. Contrary to how you normally want to play, where you get one big homie and you just clonk their whole team with your one big guy, it doesn't work this weekly. They got skunks, they got peanuts, they got all sorts of jazz. So what you gotta do is you gotta wide scale. You just get a bro, you get something cooking that's gonna scale up several units. Not a ton, just like a 15, 20, 20 kind of thing. You know, you get a skunk, take out their big guy, maybe throw some peanuts in there, and you're good. You're cooking. You can try this out as well, but for now, let's jump right in. Cricket Frilled Dragon with another Frilled Dragon. <laughs> Effectively, we just have a couple 2-2s. Two Not very exciting. Um, and yeah, okay, so we get a little sniped. Yeah, okay, okay. I see what we're working with here. Not much. <laughs> Not a whole lot. Okay, so we go here, we get grab an otter, grab a little egg action. So now we got a little more stats going. It should be enough, I would think. Yeah, in order to not lose this one. But now we're at one win, five hearts, exactly where we want to be at tier turn three, and we have a dromedary. Okay. So here's the thought. If we get enough dromedaries, that's perfect. Um, we can just continually scale up so you get a level you know two turns early ideally you get a good bet and then the dromedary has a couple turns to scale it up make it nice and big before you actually give it levels and then you're just kind of you're in the clear you know i think we grab a, a a jelly here since we have a lot of level up potential coming up pretty soon here we are gonna lose this one but now that we got the drums, we should be set. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. We'll go triple drum. There's also an argument to be made. Ooh, okay. We throw in the yak here just as a placeholder, just to get some stats in there. We got a level up queued here. And now we get one extra turn of 3-3 three, three from the drums. Next turn, these homies are coming out cooking, let me tell you. And we will lose, as expected. We're not we're not planning to win prior to the dromedary unleashing. But let's see. Okay, okay. So now we get the level. Who do we get? Who do we get? Skunk is huge. Let's keep him cooked up a little. This is, I think, the best tier 4 we could have gotten, to be honest. I'll tell you why. The skunk... Okay, yeah, let's just do a boatload of dromedaries. <laughs> so the reason why we like skunk here is because we don't need him right now. Nobody's that big health-wise where we have to start worrying about, like, getting a skunk out there ASAP. So we can leave him cooked up a little bit. Oh, this is so good. Uh, we want to start with the 5-7. You get more stats that way. Um, I don't love either of these. I think we're just rolling. So here's the beauty of it. This skunk is going to be absolutely ginormous right out of the gates. So what we can do here, I'm assuming we win this. Yeah, we were cooking. Even the, the dromedary, who's supposed to be the not big unit, he's kind of cooking too. Like this is, an 810 right here is nothing to scoff at. A food dog is tempting. I'm always down for a food dog angle. Not doing a yak, that seems ridiculous. But if we get an eel, I don't know. Um, yeah, nothing nothing really good here. But as you can see, our team is pretty stacked. Like, we're, we're not hurting too much. <laughs> we don't have any need to pivot right now. Even with their skunk, everyone else is still huge. I, I think we've cracked the code. Ooh, another food dog. Don't mind if I do. Come on, give me another one. Give me another food dog. We could cucumber on the yak. Or we just skunk here. 
Okay. There's a jelly. I don't think we're keeping the jelly though. I don't think we have, like, he's level one. Basically doesn't have an ability at this point. I think we're ditching him. As soon as we find somebody else to pivot to. And yeah, dude, this, this team is cracked. <laughs> this team is kind of cracked, Loki. Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah, Jelly's gone. Incoming Stingray. And I will always run Flashlight. Stinky Sock is for babies. And my dog. My dog loves Stinky Socks. <laughs> Alright, we get the level. Behemoth just seems like the play, to be honest. We could go Peanuts here. But Behemoth is just another avenue for scaling. But I think it's going to be worth it. Again, wide scaling, name of the game. You can hold some chocolate. Okay, that's looking good. A hey, moose. We could rock a moose. We could do that. We could get a moose going. And the beauty here is if we get a moose, our attack is still pretty good right now. So we don't have to worry too much about the, the attack part of it. Last week, that was not the case. We had like a 450 eel, and it was terrible. Okay, I think we ditched these two. No, I think we ditched Dromedary actually, right? Level up Skunk, see who we get. Yeah, we don't care about either of those. Because, oh, it's tough. Stingray, Stingray can give us flashlights, which are good. Maybe we just go for the tier ones. We, we look for stingrays if we find any, but ultimately if we just get a ton of health on this team, I think we're good to go. And once again, our little skunk homie saves the day. I think we lose that if we didn't have skunk there. I genuinely think we lose to that behemoth. Ooh, hold on. Get a little level 2 flashlight. Into a behemoth again. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So we could combine here. Or we could combine our moose. Try to get a level 2 moose. Because ultimately behemoth is better in a vacuum than the moose is. When you're just trying to like scale wide. Right? Because it also gives attack. I think this is good. Honestly, two tier ones off of one roll, that's not bad. Okay. So I do think we're gonna want this flashlight to go on the skunk, is my thought. Yeah, see, we're just good. We're just kinda cooking. The question, you can be the judge here. Holy tier ones, okay. I guess we're going chicken legs now. Um, oh my lord, what is going on? So, like I was saying, we don't even need to roll. We're, we can't freeze anything anyways. Um, you can be the judge. Do you think it's the skunk that's, that's winning it for us? Or is it actually our behemoth homies? Like our wide scaling behemoth moose combo, you know what I'm saying? Which one do you attribute the, these victories to? Maybe a little bit of both. Maybe that's the right answer. Don't need another behemoth. We're on win nine already. All right, let's just find. Oh, how I wish we had that one. Maybe we should have gone. Chick shouldn't have gone chicken leg. Though at the same time, I don't think it's bad to go chicken leg because we don't want to not win here. <laughs> All right. Something about this wide team just feels good. It feels like we're hitting all the right boxes. I don't know, maybe we got lucky. We'll try it one more, one more game just to see if it, if it's really consistent. But this team feels strong. All right, so we know the theory, we know you know, hypothetically how we're supposed to win this. It's just a matter of can we pull it off. 
Is it consistent? That's the question. Well, that's just a damn shame, isn't it? <laughs> I don't like running double pig. Don't, don't get it twisted now. But sometimes you gotta work with what you're given. In this case, it's double pig. Man, we're not getting any relief from these tennis balls right now. Fortunately, we didn't lose that one. So give me the level, see what we get. Food dog is just great. I mean, dolphin's also good, but I think we gotta look forward at this point in time. Combine, throw you in. I think the the key here is you gotta you gotta keep building toward something, you know, whatever that whatever you choose that something to be. We gotta keep pivoting toward it because scaling is of utmost importance here. So in this case, we're going dromedary. Even throwing a pig, you know, why not? Um, I'll take the level, maybe. Do we want any tier threes? Eh, not really. We'll take it, take it. Early wins are important, we'll take them. Um, these two kind of suck though, so let's, let's just continue. Another dromedary, get rid of the food dog. And something like this. So now this is kind of, this is a strong mid game team, at the very least. I think we should be fine here. Yes, we will be. And this will allow the dromedaries to kind of start cooking a little bit. So, for example, we can throw in a jelly. I was fortunate getting the jelly there. And let's take a level. Here we get a skunk. Skunk ain't too bad. Another dromedary. And we'll throw in a nightcrawler just for fun. Just because we can. Um, okay, this bunyip is gonna go insane. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I didn't see the door at hand. He was still good, but not as insane as I thought. So now we get a little bit of a little bit of skunk action if we want it. I think we do. I think dolphin is gonna hold us over fairly well. Bunyip is gone pretty soon here. Hey, we hold a foo dog. That just doesn't seem seem like the play though. Another dolphin. Again, are we keeping the dolphin? That's what we have to ask ourselves. I don't think so. We always have to be pivoting with this kind of build. When you got the dromedaries cooking, the key is just always be pivoting. Ooh, that's tough. That's close. That was pretty close. We did lose our first heart here, but we can get a little bit of this going. We get a little bit of this going, and suddenly we're really strong again. Another skunk. Um, I think we can ditch the jelly for a drum. Hmm, that's a hard sell. Do we do we stack another? If we freeze the jelly, he's going to get buffed by the dromedaries. But we could at least get a level. Oh, dude, how I wish we had three gold right now. That would be so good. Alright, that's fine. We'll level next turn. I think we just keep it how it is. We'll accept that the dromedary isn't going to get the stats here. Unfortunately. I think the skunk needs to be further up right now. Okay, maybe not. Maybe the skunk there was just right. Okay, so we're gonna go jelly here. We on tier five or tier six? Both are valid. I think we do a tier five though. A monkey. That's pretty good. Tell you what. We get rid of the jelly. We get rid of the porcupine. We're gonna set up for our, our final pivot here. Monkey is gonna be crucial. 
And then I don't think we care about any of these. Okay, that's fine. So we're a little bit weaker now, but we do have a large skunk. So maybe the skunk can handle it for us. Kind of, not really. A little bit. Found another monkey, that's huge. Um, okay, so now is probably, probably like ditch the drum kind of territory. We can hold it here. If we find another drum, we can we can run it. Grab you. Alpaca. Maybe. Okay. Maybe we're doing a blue ring alpaca angle. This is still wide scaling, so I'm not worried about this. I think we keep the skunk cooking. Because ultimately what we're gonna want to sell these two. Or maybe combine a monkey, keep the hamster. TBD on that one. Probably, yeah. I think we'll do that. If our angle here is going to be getting this... Uh... Ooh, that was unfortunate. If our angle is going to be getting the, the blue ring going, we need to find more blue rings. Maybe we do something like And then we level. And then ditch the alpaca for a behemoth. For another form of scaling. Now we're looking for blue ringed octopus. We did not find any. We can set it up like this. Durian might be useful. See, now the skunk is going to be much less effective now that we have a, a large-ish full team here. Let's ignore the durian for a second here. That's beautiful. We go here. We go here. Hold you. Yeah, let's do this. We can hold a pizza. And we're good. The wide team. The wide team is the play. Go here. Get some rolls cooking. Hmm. Hmm. Not feeling any of these. Alright, we do get the behemoth. He'll at least be scaling a little bit more. I'd love to get some more bros. Even a hamster to help find more bros. That would also be good. And look at that. <laughs> I think we've cracked the weekly. Just maybe, perhaps. Come on. This is this kind of situation where if we don't find any more duplicates, we're kind of cooked a little bit. I'm going to go on here. That way we're going to get a, a lot more rerolls. Hopefully finding a monkey or a blue ring. Three... Or we did not find anything. Our roll luck has just fallen off completely, which is unfortunate. Uh, we can keep the skunk for, for a little bit longer. And we're good? Yes, we're good. Alright, one more. <laughs> one more fight. Let's see it. Let's get the monkey going. Not gonna happen. I just want to find bros at this point. I think that's all. Yeah. The more blue rings we can find, the better. Like, I'm not even gonna worry about the monkey here. Hamster is tempting, but again, we're so close to the end here. Let's just find the bro. There it is. Alright, so now that we found that, if we don't win here, 
I think we're gonna focus on just getting some chicken legs, just getting a whole bunch of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But it looks like we are gonna win. Wide teams. Any of y'all are having trouble this week, <laughs> check out the wide team angle. Dromedary is a great pivot bet. Get an early monkey or something, just scale up a whole bunch of units. Moose also works. 